Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Oddities video. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll do another entry here. Something else based on a very mysterious set of circumstances that seem to be happening around the world. Still no known answer as to what is causing these circumstances, but I'm going to present as much information as I can and then give some theories as to what could be causing it. This is a very strange phenomenon. Um, it has various names. At least here in the U.S., the most common moniker seems to be the Taos hum, but in, on a global sense, it seems to be called just the hum itself. And what it is, is it's this strange sound that plays in the background in small towns people cannot describe where it's coming from but it seems to have uh, similar characteristics throughout the world so very very fascinating stuff I'm glad to be able to share it with here so let's go ahead and we'll start with it so what is the hum or again here in the US more commonly called the Taos hum because it just has to do with I guess the most common way to state it well it's a strange steady droning sound of some sort that again seems to permeate within the background of environment so think of it like let's say if you were to turn on a fan in your house and then just leave it running in another room within your house or apartment just leave it running uh, constantly no matter what you're doing inevitably you would continue to hear that fan well this is the same concept imagine that you have something involving some kind of droning repeating almost mechanic like sound uh, coming out from some deep background environment you have no idea what it is it's definitely something you just can't uh, explain it away as let's say it being the wind or some other type of natural occurrence so these places that seem to be affected the most seem to be Taos, New Mexico, apparently also Bristol, England seems to have those strange sounds and then another location is Largs, Scotland and they all seem to just start within a couple of decades or so back so it's not like this was something that was happening in the 1800s, 1700s and people were reporting on it. No, very, very nicely, like this seems to all have come together at the same time, starting around the 1950s or so, and then moving forward. So the way that the sound is described it seems to be like some kind of a mechanical engineering sound. The way people say it is like if you were to take an engine, a diesel engine of some sort, turn it on, but just gently just leave it idling nearby. So just leave it running. You know how engines make that very distinct sounds every now and then that there's a hiccup of some sort, like there's a... Uh, 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 one of those pistons that kind of skips a beat or something along those lines that's what it is that's what people seem to have uh, the same thing or like whenever they hear this it's just this thing what I've done is I've included a link um, within my channel um, within this video here on the bottom on the about section check it out when you have a chance it's about a minute long but this is supposed to be either the Taos hum itself or an example of what it sounds like and it is very unique nothing unlike let's say anything that the natural world should produce this is something that is clearly something else entirely different man-made possibly but again nothing in terms of it being something along the lines of nature producing this and most interestingly enough it only seems to impact a select amount of people so the uh, for example take Taos New Mexico there was a study that was done there and it was located um, because that seems to be I guess the most common focal point here in the US or at least the most prominent one and there was a study done and it was found out that only a small amount of those people all within the same area reported hearing this sound they're called either hearers or hummers because they're the ones that pick up the sound but nobody else can so that was also very interesting to find out same thing also with another location there in England that I was mentioning earlier something like only two percent of the people there were found to be the uh, hearers the people that could pick up this sound so why others have not been able to even though they're within the same vicinity 
vicinity that's up for debate too it may have to do with people's ears the way that they're all different from one another they're similar but nobody has I guess the same uh, type of ears overall and then also apparently uh, there's theories that it has to do with your health as well and then just the simple thing that sometimes people's senses just happen to be more acute than others and so that's why they get to pick it up too not that everybody's too happy because I was reading some information and some of the people that were um, I guess these so-called hearers they were stating that it's like torture that sometimes they just want to scream because especially when it's happening at night they in turn can keep hearing this they cannot keep it off they just keep hearing it is constant so I can totally relate to something like that because imagine um, I just recently I was in Goliath Texas and uh, there it was so much different than where I live here in Austin I'm definitely a city boy so when it comes to Goliath Texas that's about as remote as you get and it was just complete silence and you could hear stuff from way way out there because uh, I knew for example the roads that were leading to Goliath were way off in the distance but I could hear the cars that were from them coming over from all that distance away so imagine something like this where you're in a remote location like Taos New Mexico and you have very very small amounts of sounds just because of the remote location of it but then you have this thing permeating throughout the entire environment and then these poor souls these hearers picking it up no that's that's definitely a bad thing so one described it that they're always tossing and turning and they end up getting more agitated about it there's apparently even a report of the United Kingdom from the BBC stating that there was at least one suicide that seems to have been directly linked to the hum so people that one person just getting so tired of it that that was it now as far as the history of Taos New Mexico it seems like it's one of the more recent ones uh, this stuff started in 1991 that's when a group of residents there started complaining about that low level noise how it was constantly just rumbling there in the background I mentioned that there was a study done try to find out um, and see who was impacted it was actually done by the Los Alamos National Laboratory they're part of the University of New Mexico they did a bunch of studies but they were unable to identify any particular source so unfortunately for the residents there it looks like there was a major attempt of some sort but that was it there was nothing else that was found out that being said though some other places seem to have an answer for example uh, there was one that was found out I think it was somewhere in Indiana and there this strange sound was actually turned out to be the Daimler Chrysler plant that was located somewhere nearby apparently this noise was being done uh, something in terms of, of some kind of I guess industrial action there that was done in the early morning but it just kept spreading and spreading because of the isolated nature of the environment out towards nearby residences and when that happened people started thinking that it was something else I saw another example where there was people speculating about some kind of source within the woods they were not realizing what was going on they thought it was something else completely different and it turns out it was a plane that nobody was seeing because of, I guess of its distance that was just doing routine flybys but again based on the remote nature of that environment and the way that the sound carried itself I guess it just amplified things and then they thought it was something else completely different so there, so those are some few examples of let's say concrete evidence of it just being something else altogether not necessarily a sound like a strange towels hum sound but instead something caused um, that it was inadvertently misinterpreted as something else now other theories as to what this thing could be could be something in terms of electrical people believe that sometimes there's this low frequency electromagnetic radiation that, uh, that I guess spreads across the earth and then some people just pick it up for whatever reason and then others don't and those are the ones that involve themselves in the so-called hearers others mentioned to that it could be seismic that you could have something like this low rumbling sound could originate from somewhere else far off in the world some kind of 
plate shifting, some kind of small mini earthquakes, but it just carries straight under the land, almost like a beautiful wave of some sort. And then when it reaches that location where the people are at, they hear it as something else completely. There's even the more conspiracy sides where it's actually something involving the military or maybe even something involving extraterrestrials um, and then that they're using some very, very extreme, it's called ELF, some very extremely low frequency of some sort to try to spread communication hidden communication but still spreading it and then when that happens that's where uh, still some people by accident pick it up thereafter and then finally there's the idea that it could just be something unanswerable like we just don't know what it is it could never be answered it could even be uh, something in terms of ghosts I even saw that explanation too completely unanswerable you can't find that proof but there they are they're communicating or sending messages somewhere along the ways and then people are slowly but surely picking them up too so all very fascinating information the Taos hum again the main moniker here in the US or the hum as is more commonly known around the world one last thing too, a little bit of interesting news there was I remember talking about it too a couple of years back this was even before um, there was going to be the um, Pacific Rim film that the, that there was a time period where there was these videos popping up where people thought that they were showcasing uh, proof of let's say some kind of weird bizarre noises and we're talking like crazy noises like almost like mechanical animals fighting in the distance like gigantic mechanical beasts of some sort fighting off but no there was something that I read that said that it was one case it was a hoax it was a, a woman just pretty much stating that yes she just did it out of the blue to try to show like how far these things can go when it comes to reporting that information and then presuming that let's say um, that it's real uh, so in other words it's someone playing a trick on people so that's also another in, uh, thing that I wanted to note out there but that does not answer all of the above because as you'll see in this picture here of the US it just showcases a bunch of areas where this so-called Taos hum seems to be around the world and so uh, if, if, if there are people in all these locations purposely let's say masking things making jokes jokes, making pranks, that's going to take a lot of work. So um, one off slit here and then, you know, people making those pranks, I can totally understand, but all of them, that's something else completely different. So, but yes, the Taos hum or the hum as it's more globally known, if anyone knows any more information that I haven't listed it here, that would be great to hear. Uh, if, it's, it's, if it's stuff that stands out, please post those comments. More importantly, does anyone hear it themselves? I would love to be able to, to hear those comments. Please share them with everybody too. I myself, I don't have this, I guess, curse or uh, blessing, depending on how some people look at it. So I'm, I don't hear anything. Uh, I do, uh, I'm probably like most people where I have to have a fan playing in my room in order for me to sleep otherwise just complete silence is something else completely different but I don't have that situation where I'm hearing this this strange hum but if someone else on uh, watching this video does and has that issue please uh, if you can give your experience that would be really good to hear too so all right everybody thanks again as always take care